Hey guys, Peter Christensen here, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you two ways to optimize your Facebook ads. So in my process, the way we optimize Facebook ads is after we do our Facebook ads testing, right? So we test interests, we test lookalikes, we're testing ads and audiences, and we're finding out what works. And so only after that process and that phase of my process happens, uh, do we optimize and start getting better results. And so these are the two ways that we do that, and I'm gonna share that with you in this video. So the first way is called stacked interest demos. And so what we do here is we have our interest testing campaigns that have five ad sets in them, usually have two ads each, and usually we have two to three interest testing campaigns going at one time. And so you select all your interest testing campaigns, you go to the ad set level, and then in the breakdowns, you want to break down by age and also by um, you know gender. So male, female, and then age ranges. And you sort by purchases, keeping in mind the cost per acquisition, the ROAS and all those things. And you wanna select the top five or three to five um, audiences that are getting you, you know, the highest purchases, the best ROAS, and also note down the gender if you know one gender is getting more purchases than the other and then also note down the age ranges that are getting the purchases so usually it can be like three age ranges you know 18 to uh, 24 25 to 34 and like that um, so note down what are the top age uh, ranges and the top you know male or female or both uh, make that note and take those five interests that you found and then you're gonna use those and optimize those with stacked interest demos. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take those five, take them into a new CBO campaign, uh, stack those five interests into that new ad set, set the ad set to whatever gender that was the best converting, and then the first kind of age range that you have. So if it's 18 to 24, set that first ad set to 18, 24. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is uh, make sure that ad set has those two ads or whatever ads that are converting best for you right now. And then duplicate that ad set inside that new campaign for as many um, age ranges as you have. So if you have three age ranges, um, then duplicate it two more times. Set the age ranges on the other two to those age ranges. I hope this makes sense. Um, and then set the entire CBO campaign to you know whatever you were using to test uh, test your campaign. So if that was fifty dollars per day, a hundred dollars per day, you can set it to that, and that should start optimizing your ad spend to the best performing age ranges with your best performing audiences and your best performing gender. And so that's how you optimize with stacked interest demos, and then you have stack lookalike uh, demos, which is a very very similar process. Only now we're using lookalike audiences that we've tested. So. The interest audiences are only interest audiences, no lookalikes. The stacked lookalike demos, you go through the same process, only now you start with lookalike audiences that you've tested. So if you're doing uh, lookalike audience testing with 1%, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, say for like view content, add to cart, purchase, uh, you can select all those and go through the same process. Go to the ad set level, sort them by sales, um, do the breakdown between gender and then age ranges and go through the same process. Get the five best converting lookalike audiences, stack them all together into a new CBO campaign ad set, and then you know set the age range and the gender, duplicate that for as many age ranges you have, and then you're off to the races. And so that's how we optimize campaigns here and we start getting more profitable results. You know, we let the CBO optimize to spend ad spend on the best age ranges, and we really start to hone in on our, our target avatar for our offer. So hope that makes sense, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Look in the description, I'll, I'll give you my, my framework that I follow, so you can just follow our process. And um, yeah, subscribe if you want more, and I will see you in the next video.